recipe, a rum cake recipe that's over 40 years old from Ebony Magazine is still in my recipe Oh, book. oh okay. <laughs> Maybe we have to have a cook-off when we get back to church. 40 years old. Her rum cake? <laughs> my rum cake. <laughs>
Um, tell me a little bit about why you volunteer so much. That was just part of my upbringing. My mother, my father, that's just something that was brought up. And she, that was something she, you know, she appreciate doing all the time. So some Christmas would be to someone else. We would still get Christmas, but she would do a whole Christmas for a whole family. Mm -hmm. And so I really appreciate that. So when you volunteer, is it out of a sense of obligation and how you were raised? Is it something you enjoy doing, or is it a little bit of both? It's all both. It's both. Okay. It's both. I get a, it's like, God, I'm really appreciative of my life when I'm thinking things are going wrong or bad, that someone else is doing worse, and then my life can't be that bad after all because someone else have the same problem. So, Denise, uh, for our community listing, you grew up in uh, Washington, D.C.? Yes. And that's where you spent the first half century all my of my entire life. my life, first generation. <laughs> all of your life. <laughs> my entire and life. After having a almost uh, all of your life <laughs> in D.C., mm -hmm. you come to Chicago. Like. <laughs> Why not Alaska? Like, how did you pick Chicago? I believe she always lived someplace else just to get an experience. But how did I pick Chicago? Chicago was on my list and Seattle, Washington. And you, this is a crazy reason why I want to go to Sh Seattle. It's because I love the show Frasier. Frasier? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that show and because... That was in Seattle, but Chicago started from the inauguration of Obama when we had the first inauguration, mm -hmm. and it was really cold, and a lot of people was there from Chicago laughing at us, mm -hmm. and they said, this is nothing, and the couple that I met, I turned around and I said, you know what, I'm moving to Chicago. Wow. And that was in 2008. <laughs> okay, I don't think I ever knew that story. Mm -hmm. What a tremendous story. So you were out at the first inauguration mm -hmm. of President Obama in 2008. Mm -hmm. And from there. Okay. And so have you regretted? Are you glad? You know, did Chicago live up to your expectations? To me, you remind me of D.C. Mm -hmm. It's just colder. <laughs> That's it. Just colder, but I can deal with it. Okay, okay. You know, here in Hyde Park where you live, there's a lot of places in Chicago you could have lived, but you live right here in Hyde Park. A lot of people read. Not everybody reads, but we have a lot of people that read. Do you have a recommendation of a book or a movie, if you're not a reader, that you would recommend to those watching? I do like to read a lot. Most of my books that I read are novels, um, mystery so I like James Patterson mm -hmm. I the last one I read was a couple of months and it was mystery mistress mm -hmm. that was really good and I told a friend that I'm on chapter 53 and it had 113 chapters I could not go to sleep until I read the last remaining of the chapters mm -hmm. and I did so mystery, <laughs> it's mistress, I'm sorry, James Patterson, mistress. mistress, mistress, but it's a mystery book. Yes, so don't be fooled by the title. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you, you got it, mistress by like James Patterson, if you're fooled. looking for that book to, mm -hmm. to read. Um, Another novel I'm reading is by W.E.D. DeVoice, it's called, um, is the Black folk songs, I may not have the title correctly, but um, folks, maybe it's like poems or stories from black folks, that's the title. I okay. okay. Well, it's good to know that you're a reader, because mm -hmm. uh, we do that a lot here. Um, tell me uh, about a space in Hyde Park that you like. You, I know that you've gotten around the city a little mm -hmm. bit, but in Hyde Park, is there a space or a, a spot in Hyde Park that you really like or have come to enjoy? The parks, you know, just, if you can get quiet mm -hmm. around, it's just sitting out in the park and watching people. Okay. So you go to the park often? Yes. N not now, but in the summertime, <laughs> I would go to the park. Good, good. Mm -hmm. And what is your favorite holiday? We're going to make it a plural. Christmas and 
Valentine's Day. I love love. <laughs> I love love. I remember for my worship series in February that here we got a lover in the household. So um, say a little bit more. Um, like, do you have a Valentine's Day that you remember that was really special? My mother was a teacher, so she celebrated all the holidays, but something about Valentine's Day, it was just that our dining room table, we just set up with cars and Valentine cake and gifts, mm -hmm. teddy bears and balloons. So you guys got special gifts mm -hmm. and, um, on Valentine's, so it meant something. It seems like your mother was a passer down of important things. She passed down yes. volunteering, mm -hmm. Valentine's. So it seems like your mother really molded and shaped you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. And in second, or it's a tie. It's Christmas. A tie. I love Christmas. My, mother, my parents were married on Christmas. Really? I had the original marriage license. They were married on Christmas, and I didn't know that till later on in life. She was really happy, and my father was surprised with two gifts. So she would receive her Christmas gift and her anniversary gift. Wow. <laughs> so how did that, like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. A Christmas Day wedding. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, do you have any fears? You tell us, do you have a fear? I do. Like what? Uh, you don't want to make it public. <laughs> no, no. I don't want anyone to try me or test me. <laughs> I um, fear of horror flicks. I can read a horror flick mm -hmm. novel, but to see the, a trailer on television or uh, immediately, I would just turn the um, the channel. So mm -hmm. horror flicks. Okay. I guess that, I don't know if that would pertain to any real fear, but anything dealing with death. Yeah, um, horror movies yeah. are kind of, they're not my thing either. <laughs> Tell us three things that make you laugh. <laughs> anything, this can make me laugh, <laughs> that I'm actually doing this. Um, my children, my youngest daughter, she can make me laugh a lot in a good way comedy, a good movie. I like watching I Love Lucy. So if I'm feeling sad and I realize I haven't laughed, I would look at I Love Lucy or Young Shelton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's really good. Um, tell us anything, since you are working as our secretary, tell us anything you would like us to know about your spiritual journey. That God is first in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do believe how you treat someone with kindness, you will get that from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, who's the entity or being that's the next closest to you? My children, my daughters. I call them favorite daughter number one and favorite daughter number two. That's, that's a nice way to put their it. Their address <laughs> that way. Favorite daughter number one <laughs> and two. Well, I've started doing something new on Crooked Courage, and that's, I mentioned five words, mm -hmm. and after you hear each word, you just tell me whatever comes to mind. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Uh, the first word is animals. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I love cats. <laughs> you love cats? I, baby, I, I have been a babysitter for cats, so. But cats, that's the animal that, yeah. yeah. What is it about a cat? I've been trying to understand cat lovers because they, it's not they, something I feel. I'm trying to get it. Like, what is it that endears people yeah. to cats? Because they can actually take care of themselves and they're honest. So they want you to love them. They will let you know, like, love me. If they don't want you to love them, they will let you know, don't love me today. <laughs> but take care of me. <laughs> okay. So they're independent. They, they can take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Second word, drinks. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> what comes to mind? Just, it just oh. whatever comes to mind. <laughs> A good margarita right now. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said tea. Hey, so I, I had to let be you honest. know where yes. <laughs> I to be honest. A good margarita. A good margarita. <laughs> you like salt on the rim? No. Okay. No. But a good one. <laughs> a good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. High Park. Diversity. Mm -hmm. 
fast, um, plenty of places to eat, to see, mm -hmm. convenience. But that's more than one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be mm -hmm. one. It's just what do you hear in response. You mm -hmm. describe Hyde Park as fast. Mm -hmm. The people all seem like they're bustling all the time. Okay. Um, cars come through, can find a parking space, even though I don't drive, but still. Yeah, and yeah, there have been some complaints from a lot of walkers in the community. You know, the relationship between walkers and drivers has not always been <laughs> all that. I have to be careful. I had to share. I have this, um, I, I'm in the pedestrian walkway strip or whatever you call it, so I have the right of way. So just to let the drivers know I have the right of way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that relationship okay. definitely could be improved upon. Mm -hmm. You said diversity. What is, does that have any meaning for you? That yes, I think it's good to know other culture besides your own to learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. My fourth word: winter. Cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you like winter? I like winter, so um, I can deal with it. And it hasn't been a hard adjustment coming from DC because you were saying how the Chicagoans were laughing at you because it's colder. It's here. colder here, so the winter coat that I bought from DC here didn't work, so <laughs> I had to purchase a coat from Chicago. <laughs> The code of DC did, did not work. work. And you live right at the lake. Yes. Like, so when you step out the door, the hawk is like it's waiting right on there. You. So I let the hawk move me. So wherever it goes, I go. You don't resist. <laughs> I don't resist. You go with the I hawk. I go with okay. it. That's yes. a little bit of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Go I with go the with hawk. It. So <laughs> sometimes it has moved me backwards and forwards and sideways. So I go with it. Yeah. And then my fifth word, dessert. A good banana pudding. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to say my rum cake. That's what she was supposed to say. <laughs> I was testing well, her. That is good too. <laughs> I like, believe it or not, I like um, Paula Dean, not your mama, um, banana pudding. It's uh -huh. a holy, it's uh -huh. a totally different um, banana pudding. I by grew Paula up, Dean. By Paula Dean, not your mama. Um, not your mama, mama banana, banana pudding. pudding. And where is this banana pudding? It's a thick, creamy recipe. Instead of using the... Oh, you have to make it. You, you can't have to go to this. You can't no, go to trade. You have to prepare it. it. Okay. Right. You have to prepare it. Yes. Instead of using the, the Nello, was it Nello wafers, you mm -hmm. use chestnut cookies and they have cream cheese and whipped cream. It is really thick and rich. Really? Sounds like you might be a baker. No. no. <laughs> you just make banana pudding from Paula Yes. Dinner. Okay. No. And that's the end of it. That's the end of it. I have a recipe, a rum cake recipe that's over 40 years old from Ebony Magazine. It's still in my recipe oh, book. Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe we have to have a cook-off when we get back to church. 40 years old. Her rum cake? <laughs> my rum cake. <laughs> <laughs> and we won't retaliate. No. You know, we'll, we'll keep it all good. And so the final question I usually ask people is what's on your bucket list of things to do? I mean, I imagine maybe one was moving to a state another mm -hmm. state you hadn't lived in, but on your bucket list, do you have um, something on your bucket list that still remains for you to do? I would still like to travel once this COVID-19 is over. I would love to go to Africa. What well, part, I, I just want to go. Mm -hmm. Just want to see where everything started from. Okay. Okay. Well, we, um, before we end, is there mm -hmm. anything you would like to tell the congregation or like to tell this community that I didn't ask you? A question maybe you thought I was going to ask or <laughs> something you think you want to say. I appreciate the congregation. I, I've learned a lot from you and the other members of the congregation. I make I make great friends. I'm still making good friends. And I like the honesty of each member and I like the different personalities. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's tremendous that Denise at this point in her mm -hmm. life um, left everything she mm -hmm. knew and came here to Chicago and connected. And I think that tells me something about your personality and your spirit. Thank um, you. <laughs> you've been very open and gracious and you know, you just kind of jump in. Mm -hmm. And so we're glad to have you and we Thank are you. very happy that during this time of transition that you are filling in as our secretary because mm -hmm. the secretary knows everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank, thank you, you for uh, joining another episode mm -hmm. of Curly